The Way 31i team is uncovering more patterns of violence from a parolee who was accused of killing three people in Gunnersville only six months after he was let out of prison while serving a life sentence. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Demetria McClinton. The Way 31i team has 600 pages of prison documents concerning Jimmy Spencer and his violent streak that continued during the 30 years he was in prison. Way 31's Brecken Terry joins us live in the Shoals with more on what she's uncovered about Spencer's time in prison. Brecken. I still have about 400 pages of documents to get through, but today I uncovered more disturbing reports about Jimmy Spencer. Now, these new offenses range from him stabbing another inmate in the back to Spencer himself being stabbed twice, and these documents show that he actually assaulted a corrections officer. We've now uncovered 33 disciplinary reports on Jimmy Spencer, ranging from 2001 to when he was released in 2018, and we still have hundreds of pages to go through. Today, we found minor offenses from Spencer jamming his cell tray door on multiple occasions to having tobacco products, but his offenses get more serious. In two separate incidences in 2002, Spencer was found with homemade knives. In 2008, during a pat-down, officers found a knife on Spencer. According to the report, Spencer told them another inmate pulled a razor on him and he intended to stab him. In 2003 and 2006, Spencer knocked out the observation window in his cell. One report said Spencer kicked the window out to use the metal as a knife. In 2005, Spencer again got into trouble for throwing human feces on the ground. And in another report, officers found inmate made whiskey in his cell again. In 2005, a report states Spencer admitted to stabbing another inmate in the back with a box cutter. In 2003, Spencer was stabbed by another inmate and told the officer he was going to kill the inmate that stabbed him. In 2002, another report states that Spencer swung on a corrections officer and bit him in the forearm. In the same report, it says Spencer also threatened the officer, saying he was going to butcher him. In 2001, he got into a fist fight with another inmate as well. Now, these documents show that Spencer's violent streak did not stop while he was in prison. In January of this year, he was released by the parole board, and they cited that he had a positive conduct record while he was in prison. Live in Florence, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. Thanks, Breck and Way 31's I team is digging deeper to learn more about Jimmy Spencer's past since the triple murder in Gunnersville. In August, Way 31 obtained the warrant from the Alabama Parole Board. It shows how Spencer slipped through the cracks for months. The board didn't issue it until after police in Gunnersville arrested him for killing three people. We also learned by that point Spencer, Spencer had already violated his parole at least three times. For more than a month, the I team tracked a series of errors by the parole board from letting Spencer out to him walking away from his reentry program and an arrest by police in Sardis. Yesterday, Way 31 obtained that 600 pages of disciplinary actions taken against Spencer while he was in prison. For the next